Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley P. Deck and today I'll be doing a super beginner friendly install courtesy of Mega Look. They sent over this beautiful brown auburn color number 30 HD lace body wave wig. She is absolutely gorgeous and the color of this wig is so vibrant. Definitely hitting the new year with a bang. So if you want to follow this install, keep on watching. So for starters, this is the packaging and this is the wig straight out of the box. As I did mention, this is a body wave textured wig. The dimensions of the lace are 13 by 4, but she does come in a 4 by 4 closure option. They did include this elastic band. This is going to give the wig a little extra hold and make it feel a little bit more snug as you wear her. This is a first impression and what she looks like on. As you guys can see, I have the AirPods in, so excuse the dance and breakdowns all throughout the video. I was feeling myself in, in such a good mood. Hope you guys are too in this new year. This is a look at the wig from the back. As you guys can see, she's nice and full. This one is 20, I believe, 4 inches in length, but she does come in lengths from 14 inches to 30 inches, so you can definitely find your perfect length. This is a look at the wig as a center part as well as a half up, half down. I think I'm going to do a flip over. You guys already seen in the intro that I decided to do a no part vibe, but I did kind of step it out just a little bit and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. For now, I've decided no customizations were needed. I'm going to just... I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of the excess lace. This is a simple step, but I know that a lot of people get a little bit ner nervous, not wanting to cut into the hairline or damage their wig before they even get to install. But trust me, just go slow. It, there really is no right or wrong way to do it. Many a times I definitely will cut off a little bit too much lace or sometimes not enough lace and it's always able to be fixed. It's all in the finesse. I feel like putting on a wig and installing it to your liking is literally just a finesse. Here I am installing the wig. I went with Eben. You guys know this has been my go-to for some time now. I was first addicted to the yellow can. I recently ran out and discovered that I had the red one in my stash. And this one is even better. I'll have it linked in the description box. As you guys can see, I was struggling to pull the hair apart. Be careful when it comes to like spray adhesives. It's very easy to get it like in the actual hair and not just on the lace but when it does and you blow dry it it kind of will get like um how do you say it? like tacky or like sticky so you just kind of can comb it out and it literally will come out like nothing ever happened now we're going in and i did tweeze out the hairline a little bit now i'm just going to go ahead and send some of the hair back and leave some of that hair forward we are going to be doing baby hair but we're going to keep the center part clean so it kind of gives you like that no baby hair vibe in the center with the forehead but it also gives you like the instagram soups that i love so much I am going in with the Dynamic Duo. This is my wax stick from BDECBD.com paired with our electric hot comb. I like to go in. Like I know that back in the day, the hair gurus with the natural hair were talking about heat damage. And you know, you can only do one pass. But when it comes to my wigs, I go crazy. There is no minimum or maximum of how many heat passes I do. I do it until the job gets done. Now that I've cut the baby hair down to the desired length, I'm just being careful not to nick my forehead with this mini flat iron but i'm just wanting to curl the hairs away from my face this is gonna form like the wispy baby hair i don't want the baby hair that kind of like melts and like molds into my hair i kind of want it to be fluffy and a little bit natural and everywhere to each his own definitely definitely skip this step if this is not your vibe but i did go ahead and use a mousse as my adhesive i did go in and use the mousse from my brand and as you guys can see my baby hair came out perfect although they are sisters not twins because one side is a little bit for more full than the other the beauty is after the fact i can go in and pull more hair forward and add to make it a little bit more even i did go in with a liquid foundation this time to set the hair and once it kind of oxidizes it's going to look perfect now i decided to do just like a no part flip over this has been my go-to in 2022 especially towards the end i was definitely into the no parts definitely have to have a strong clean hairline to achieve this and i think i did a great job now i'm going to go in with this infamous 
infamous wand curler that I've been using I feel like in every video I promise to switch it up I need to go and pull out other hot tools because this has been my favorite go-to a wand curler just really gets the job done and it's very very simple and easy but I definitely will be pulling out curling irons and different barrels and such so you guys can get a variety of curls and different options when it comes to curling your hair at home I did this side on camera and then I just sprayed it with a little bit of my um, shapers or maybe a lot. I did this side off camera and it came out absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to just do the top basically where the um, hair will kind of like flip over a little bit. One of the key things when it comes to any style is making sure the hair is installed nice, neat and properly and also making sure the lace area like this hair up top is super 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 neat so I'm just going in one more time with the hot comb and making sure everything is super flat and looks like it's coming out of the scalp even when it comes to the curls when I section a piece to curl before I do I do like to go in and the lace part and make sure that it's flat and then of course I'm just going to go ahead and curl all these last pieces and once I'm done of course I'm going to set it with a little bit more shapers I added some to each section and I did work in three different sections and this was pretty much the look kind of allowing it to set before I pull the curls out nice and full I would definitely say now this is the part where I went in on top of that liquid foundation I used and just added a little bit more powder, just perfecting it, make sure everything looks perfect. And then I'm using this concealer from Ruby Kiss as like a little bit of a lace action. I want to make sure that if any lace is exposed, it blends with my complexion. Here are the goodies that were provided in the bag. They did give us this little reusable pouch and it was stuffed to capacity with goodies. Wig caps, you got some lashes, you got a melt belt. I think you got a little pin. It's like a Versace vibe. And then you got your baby hair brush. Super, super nice. Now I'm going to go in and just pull the curls out with my hands. I kind of took my time on this and as you guys can see, I didn't lose any of the bounce, any of the body with using hairspray. And I also love how much the curl definition really popped. Once you pull the curls apart, this absolutely is a must have. And this is a look at it from the back. Definitely a go-to staple. Again, this one has so much body in it. It's so easy to achieve a curl. And it's such, such a low-maintenance wig. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check the description box for all the details. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!